Well, it just happens to be Saturday afternoon, August the 3rd, Saturday, August the 3rd, 2013, huh. toyed, and um, welcome everyone, welcome to Progressive Discussions, another week has flown by quickly as usual, uh, just like the months and the seasons and the years fly by, and uh, I'm your host for Progressive Discussions, James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21, the hardest hitting internet talk radio station on the planet, and I am here live and pre recorded. Well, when you see it, it's pre recorded. Coming from the Newsletter Censored Research Center in Northeastern New Jersey, and I will now. This is my new prop because the uh, Blackthorn Shillelagh is taking. A vacation hiatus. This is an authentic deer antler. It's not taking a dirt sleep. No, it's no, no. It's just on hiatus. It's on hyena. I mean hy hyena. <laughs> hy Hyenas are not picky. As hernia, hiatal hernia. As to what they will eat. My uh, brother-in-law, the great white hunter. Deer hunter. Well, yeah, actually deer hunting. Yeah. Um, because he claims if you hunt for if you if you hunt for any wild bird, any fowl. You have to have bird dogs to flush them out, and it's a pain in the ass. You rather what just. What about just getting a duck call? Wait. Call the ducks out. <coughs> Boom! You know, oh. the poor duck is like the poor chicken. It is mocked, it is made fun of, it is maligned, and yet it's a cute. Not Daffy It's duck. a cute animal. Well, Daffy Duck spits too much, like Sylvester the cat, right? I think so. I love Daffy Duck. Yeah, he's Although cute. I haven't seen him in years. Ducks are cute, man. Just like okay. bunny rabbits. Just like bunny rabbits, you know. I mean, and they're quite smart. Rhinoceroses are not cute. Well, you, my friend, do not like some of my. Uh, you do Insects not, are not. You cute. do not like lagartos, otherwise known as lizards, which I love. I love uh, reptile reptiles. Reptiles. I love tortoises, and turtles. What and, is psycho again? Amphibians, and I love so what is psych psycho? psycho is one of the tarantulas oh, yeah. owned okay. by our uh, director. Because what is he? He's building a new uh, IT environment for him. IT division. They already have a new environment. They have a automatic thermostatic controlled heating pad on a big cast iron uh, stand rack. Whoop the aquarium for rack. a stinking tarantula. Scorpions too. And tarantulas and tarantulas and, 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 and uh, the food that that is fed to them. They're all thermostatically controlled on it with an automatic timer. Oh High technology, my man. Oh my god. High tech redneck. Oh Any my god. Anyway, let me formally pipe aboard with my authentic bosun's whistle. My, uh, and no insects allowed. The illustrial, the illustrial. No, oh, I'll be bringing the hissing cockroaches over soon. Yeah. The, the door will be locked when they put on bulk. I want, I need them to put on more size. They're already this long. More Any, size. anyway, uh, pipe aboard, formerly pipe aboard, my co-host and mentor, the Pope of the Internet, the illustrious, oh. the one and only, the founder of Newsletter Censored in 1977. Our <laughs> ahoy matey and welcome aboard our progressive liberal starship, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. How are you feeling today? Make it so. Huh? Make it so. Make what so? As the Picard says all the time to get the starship moving. Make it so. That's a stupid phrase. Well, that's what he says to the uh, the, the, the the driver, the uh, uh, whatever he is. You like pseudo used to be. Thought it was on or I thought computers it was on automatic pilot or something. Well, you got to throw it in. You got to throw the trajectory in. You know the path. That doesn't make sense. Say. Make it so. Make it so. That's stupid. I like Kirk's phrases. Warp speed. Is that what he says? Warp two, warp. He mentions the warp, right? Warp, yeah. Well, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Gotta go. 
you got to go somewhere. You got to use warp drive. Well, speaking of warp, Washington sure is warped. <sighs> the Congress. Now, let me start because I got a lot of Congress things. Congress is now at 7%. Uh, popularity? Popularity. Approval rating. Approval. Well, they deserve less. But well, they're on vacation, buddy. They're you always see on, them running down the steps. They're yesterday? always on vacation. I hear that they took, they took, I think, July off, and they they come they came back for August, and they're only scheduled to work two days. The Republican Congress. And they're only scheduled to uh, work on nine days in September. Mr. Boehner says, "Don't worry, we'll get the job done." Yeah, uh, 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 repealing uh, job? repealing Obamacare. Certainly not creating jobs. No, they're too busy repealing Obamacare. For the 40th time. All right, for the 40th time. Now, you know... Well, I, I got a lot to read, so hurry up. It wouldn't be bad if they would want to uh, repeal the part and improve the parts that should be repealed and improved. But they just want to take away the whole thing. Yeah, they... They, 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 sure, they sure want to take away the whole thing except for the money going to their rich buddies and to themselves. That they don't want to take away. Okay, I just, I'll start off with something light and the rest is heavy, heavy Ooh. duty, right? Who is the idiot or idiots in uh, 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 clothing designers, you know, in the fashion industry, who decided to put the print and the words and the logo on the back of t-shirts instead of in the front where they belong and where they used to be it's like it's all on the back and there's nothing in the front and then I, I think about all the horrible ugly fashion designs that they come up with for women there are there, most of them are hideous you know and I don't know who's in charge of the fashion industry if it's the same group of people that are in charge of Hollywood but sure sucks I mean the, the the people that are getting paid really good salaries do not necessarily make the right smart decisions and are not necessarily talented obviously you should not go see the punk exhibition it's who they know in, in America it's who you know punk fashion oh well I know about that yeah but it's got a big exhibit of it somewhere and okay. it's crap oh. anyway right. Republican Senator John Corrin of Texas. Cornyn. 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 He's got a Y in the name. Yeah. Cornyn. Yeah, well, whatever. Of Texas said, There is no good reason why Detroit or any other American city ought to receive a taxpayer funded bailout from Washington, but Senator John Corrin, Republican, um, voted for a taxpayer-funded bailout of Wall Street and big banks. Ha <laughs> But no... Well, I bet you <coughs> won't take away subsidies from Exxon Mobil but no, and uh, uh, all the big boys. But no no American city should be bailed out <laughs> by because Washington. cities are the public sector. <coughs> See? The things he likes are the private sector. They are out to destroy all in the public sector so that the private sector can control the country. Okay? Oh, we all know how efficient privatization is, right? Oh, yeah. Well, it's good for them because that's where they get their money. Okay? Oh, you mean in their pockets? That's correct. Our humans, human nature never changes over, over the millennia, right? It never changes. It's just as vile and wicked and selfish it's sinful as it always was. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anyway, but of course these, these, uh, these, uh, what would you call them? Uh, um, adaptive supporters, uh, sycophants. Is that, is that the same category? A sycophant, sycophant and an, an adaptive a supporter. supporter? Yeah. They would call us haters and troublemakers ooh, and instigators ooh. for telling the truth. I guess they called uh, Martin Luther King and uh, Gandhi. And all the, all the uh, great reformers, reformers, reformers of the world, the same troublemakers. Oh, they were maligned. They were killed. They were. Uh, 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 what about the uh, apostles? They were maligned. They Eleven were of them. Put that. They were killed. They were killed. It is martyred. Yeah. They were only telling the truth. 
George Carlin was, uh, the late great George Carlin was touching upon uh, some things like that. I, I posted a very good uh, video of him uh, discussing uh, uh, right to lifers and, and abortion and the whole subject of abortion and uh, and he really gets right to the point about about conservatives caring about the fetus but once you're born they don't give a damn about you. That's correct. You know? And now you see after the uh, Supreme Court struck down <clears throat> the uh, part of the uh, Voting Rights Act, all of the Republican-controlled legislatures in the country mm -hmm. are now putting through all of their garbage laws and, of course, their anti-abortion laws. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to get to something quite interesting that's sort of related to that. Okay, each member of Congress spends an average of $383 per month for coffee and food in their office. For them? For them, each. And each. if they have a little guest? Yeah. Okay. Which is more than most families receive in SNAP or food stamp benefits. <laughs> anyway. Again, how many days on average do they work in Congress? And they want to cut SNAP. Remember yeah. that. But, the, so this is uh, this is funny. Three hundred and eighty-three dollars per month for coffee and food per congressperson. In this case, it's mostly Republicans, which is more than what poor families get for food stamps. And they want to cut food stamps again. And and mind you, they, these Congress people work very little. They work far less than part time. The word work should be not used. Yeah, not work. Or in quotes. Repeal. Oh, everything Obama wants, they, they, that's what they do. They keep on repealing. The same thing with uh, when you're discussing a rich person, do not ever use the term earn. Oh, forget it. Okay? Because well, they do not earn well, their money. Once you officially become a millionaire, your money pretty much makes money on its own. That's if, correct. You, if you invest wisely, you have a, a real smart, certified financial planner. Your money will make money. So as far as any rich person telling them, you want to tax my, you want to tax my hard-earned money. It's all bullshit. Bullshit. Okay, now, interesting. Oh, now this is crazy. Oh boy. Uh, Mark, this is a man. Mark Obenshane, uh, which is the state of Virginia Attorney General, said, if a woman in Virginia has a miscarriage without a doctor present, yeah, sure, they must report it within 24 hours to the police or risk going to jail for a full year. Wow. Talk about religious nuts in, a, in the red state Bible Belt area. How the hell, you know when a woman has a miscarriage, there's no cop in the bathroom standing well, there to watching. Them, that's an abortion. Okay? You think a woman wants to have a miscarriage? Oh my gosh, we, all of our women, Democratic women, they want abortions. All of them want them. So we're all demonized. Well, of course we're demonized. But what about the sins that they, 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 uh, they're guilty of? Of, they, of political corruption and financial sense. They see the moat in your eye and not the beam in their own. They're hypocrites. They are hypocrites. They're the ultimate hypocrites of all time, is a, is a, is a conservative right wing. Okay, um, interesting. Now, this last section is also very interesting. It's the last uh, inductee into our Chisler's Hall of Shame. The other inductees, of course, is the uh, Attorney General of Virginia and um, and uh, you know uh, the, uh, the the Republican Republicans making asinine statements. They n never fails to amaze me. Every week, they just get make stupider and stupider. Uh, remarks that they, uh, they 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 go public with, which is really shocking. Members of uh, Republican Congress for 
for wasting taxpayers' money that they say Democrats are are known for wasting uh -huh. taxpayers' money. Not their taxes, because they're rich. They don't pay taxes. I mean the middle class. So all these people, John Corrin, Mark Obenshain, members of Congress, they're all guilty. They're all inductees into the Chisler's Hall of Shame. And now the big the big inductee, Walmart. Walmart employs 2.1 million workers. Two-thirds of these are in the United States. In 2012, revenue is, or was, three times that of Apple mm. computer and 15 times of McDonald's. Mm. Uh, Walmart pays employees, on average, $8.81 per hour. Mm. Okay, four Walmart family members, we mean, I'm talking about the upper echelon, right? The uh, mm -hmm. muckety mucks. Four Walmart family members made $20 billion in 2012. Each. That's just, that's just 2012. That might be collectively. I don't know. They didn't specify. No, it's each. Really? $80 billion. You, you... You, could you imagine that? And, and they have the nerve to pay their employees uh, 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 a slightly above minimum wage. That's correct. It's, it's sickening. It's sickening. You, you people that walk around with a smile saying, Oh, I'm a people person. Oh, I love people. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Conservatives are close to God. You are an asshole. Because you don't have your facts. All right. Let me finish this. They Wal don't have the power, though. Huh? They do have the power. Because they, 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 they own the media. They own the government. They own the government. Well, the, the government is our only bulwark against the strength of the corporations and the rich. Yeah. Well, the corporations... So if they destroy the government, make it smaller, yeah. we have no fighting force. The corporations have bought the FDA, the USDA, mm -hmm. congressmen, senators, the media, because corporations are the sponsors, correct? They, they, they bought them all. So, all right, Walmart stores cost U.S. taxpayers over $1.7 million per year because they pay their employees so little right. that they must rely on public assistance. And many Walmart employees are collecting public assistance to survive. Food stamps and Medicaid. That's right, because their pay is so low, low far Typical American salaries, far below the cost of living. They can't afford to live on that. Once upon a time in this country, when the middle class and people were doing well, yeah. when the corporations made profits, some of those profits went to wage hikes. But some 30-some years ago, that all stopped. And the profits became became huger and huger. Well, the CEO's pay sure and did. And the CEO's pay got huger and huger. Yep, 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 yep. And the wages were stagnant and did not grow. Even today, they are 4% lower than they were. Is it any wonder the economy is not bustling? There's no money for the 70% of the economy that is the consumers. The, uh... No disposable income. The, uh, and, you know, with all the, um, outsourced jobs and all of the, uh, corporations not paying taxes and the rich not paying taxes, the, um, the mainstream that were middle class that became poor that got their homes foreclosed mm. and they got laid off. Well, all the all the uh, the new poor mainstream they don't have surplus cash to put back into the economy. Welfare recipients. The only surplus cash they had before was because they borrowed it. Right. Okay. I mean, the welfare. I mean, the, the poor and and the unemployed and the homeless, of course, don't have anything to put back into the economy. And the middle class that are left, the people that should thank their lucky stars to still have a, a full-time job, so and far. a roof over their head. So far. Yeah. 
they don't have the surplus cash to put back in the economy but there are people that I noticed that are driving around in expensive cars even young people that somehow the, the kids today they don't want to start like we did with an older used car they all seem to have to have a new vehicle so what you're saying is all the new stuff that you see people having now are all borrow uh, uh, on credit on borrowed credit yeah credit borrow money so I guess the repossessed by the repo man is going to have a lot of work ahead oh, of him definitely yeah. you know it's funny uh, on the repo uh, reality shows on, on cable on true TV the person getting repoed what do you call them the repeat Reaper and the re the repo victims, if you want to call them victims, yeah, victims, they fight tooth and nail with the repo man, like it's almost like, like that vehicle belongs to them, because they they see it as stealing. But they don't them. they don't own the vehicle until it's paid for. <clears throat> People don't understand that we don't own our houses, we don't own our cars. If they're borrowed, if they're you know credit borrowed money, we don't own them. You don't even own the land that your house is sitting on. And you don't own land. And we've we've done many stories. Even about if you that. paid off your land and you do own it, right? The government can come and take it by eminent domain. Well, you remember that. Old Give it to some big private cook. You you remember the story about the elderly uh, retired couple that had to get rid of their bird feeder. I think it was Allendale, New Jersey, no, or Ridgewood, right. or I think it was Clifton. Well, anyway, they were no. It was um, one of these, right? One here. of those. It was a Bergen County town, but they yeah. were they were ordered by the town that their their bird feeder wasn't wasn't a bird feeder. It wasn't it wasn't the kind of bird feeder that they wanted them to have. So they told them they couldn't have it. Meanwhile, this was probably they probably had their mortgage all paid up if they were retired people know. maybe M maybe most likely that it, it was because when the when old people buy their homes it was back in the day back and back in the, in the day, day yeah, the mortgages were low but they may be on a reverse mortgage today you know yeah we Who don't knows? know but the point is you don't really own your home that's it I mean you may, if you pay off the mortgage, you may own the building, but you don't own the land. That's why you got to get a permit for this and that, and you know, mm -hmm. oh, you you want a high stockade fence for for privacy? You better not be too high. Mm -hmm. You can't even have a victory uh, vegetable garden in your front yard. Yeah. Only in the backyard. I must have grass. Right, that has to be cut. A nice and, manicured and, lawn. And it gives you nothing in return. With the money you spend, well, it does give you crabgrass and weeds. Weeds. If you're into dandelion salad, I guess. Oh well, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you a lot of vitamin A if there. If you want to raise your own hens for eggs, oh no, <coughs> the town won't let you do that no. unless you're in an area where the, the community will allow you to. But no, you can't do anything. But it's okay for you to pay the super high property taxes. In in East, uh, in suburbia, right? That's okay. Well, I got news for you. We pay a pro high property tax, and most of it goes to education. And the reason we do that is because education. the rich don't pay their share. I thought I thought here in New Jersey they like closing schools and laying off teachers. Well, they're going. They're trying to do that, of course. Vouchers and all this other crap. They want to privatize education. The Republicans. Once upon a time, the lottery was supposed to take care of education. What happened? Casino, now they want to privatize casino the Casino gambling in Atlantic City was supposed to go to the needy. If you pri yeah. Remember? If you privatize uh, the lottery, there, no money is going to go to the education anymore. No. But since they don't want education in the first place because they don't want the poor and the middle class becoming smart. They want to dumb down the, dumb the main... Dumb down, baby. Dumb down the mainstream. But that's why, and only the rich kids can afford to go to private school. Right. That's private, how it was in the old days, and they want those days back. Ah, the old days of what? Feudalism? Oligarch? The kings, the queens, the princes. Feudalistic oligarch? Feudalism, whatever you want. It, that's, that's well, now, now the feudalism is, is a corporate plutocracy. 
It's fascism. That's what it's become. The country is a fascist. Someone said on the uh, on Facebook the other day, all it is socialism, socialism, socialism. There's no socialism. The country is fascist. When you got the corporations married to the state, it's fascism. Ask Mr. Mussolini. He'll tell you. You know, I once had this punk know-it-all that was, um, he bragged that he was part of, um, he was uh, one of the leaders of this nationwide organization uh, com comprised of uh, young, young Republicans, young people that were conservative. Of course, there were rich kids, most likely, with a silver spoon in their mouth. And he did, he did not debate or comment the content of our shows. Of course not! He talked about how our shows are not viral. We, don't, we do not have hundreds of thousands or millions of hits. And he put us down and he says, you, you are beneath me. I would never debate you because you don't have... You don't have hundreds of thousands or millions of hits. I says, well, you know, thinking about it, Honey Boo Boo's, uh, uh, <laughs> Honey Boo Boo's season opener, right off the bat, had like, I think, over two million viewers. <laughs> well, Jesus so, <laughs> only had 120. Jesus himself had only 120. One of the best teacher in the world. Yeah. Of all time. Better than Joe Alstein and Rick Warren and Pat yeah. Roberts. Prosperity pe preaches. Yeah. And he only had 120, you know, what you would call followers. Unbelievable. So, you know, it, it, you know, attention, being in a spotlight, mon money, uh, accumulating a large sum of money in the devil's world, it's not necessarily, it's, well, it's not a fair world, obviously. So the more informative you are, the more educational you are, the more you tell the real truth, uh -huh. the, the less audience you will have. It, mainstream audience you will have. Look at Gary No, as, as brilliant as Gary is, and he's got his progressive radio network, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. No, nobody's gonna fight. A lot fight. of people listen. No, but no station uh, manager or sponsors are gonna are gonna censor anybody on there. Okay, but he only has so much of the population. You know that you can listen to radio now. And on he belongs on MSNBC. NBC. He was on it. He was Gary? on WMCA once. MSNBC. Ga Gary made appearances. That, that does not suit. His work. MSNBC? No, MSNBC never existed. Not that. It was on WM's. For, Wait a minute. Forget about radio. I'm talking about what really grabs massive amounts of people TV, cable, cable. Cable TV does not have the audience as you think. MSNBC does not have the audiences, I think. Maybe over 500,000 people. You're kidding me. No. Are, are you serious? Yeah. So, Ed Schultz. Yeah. The Ed Schultz Show only has a small segment of the population? Fox has more. Well, that doesn't surprise me. Well, there's a, there's a station that does not know the truth if it tripped over it, but it's quite professional, has great sets, etc. And... Expensive cameras. And expensive cameras. It has gorgeous looking blonde women. Waspy looking. I don't know about waspy, but they sure are gorgeous. Well, they're not minority women, I noticed. No, they're not. They're not women of color on Fox. No, they're not. I think they have one or two, but... And, uh, and there's, there's, no, there's no gay broadcasters on Fox at all. <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, hey, there's a pattern here. You heard what the Pope you said. Who am I to judge? Who am I to judge? They're gay. Listen. Finally, somebody got into somebody's head that we're not here to be judged. Listen, uh, the women on Fox, I affectionately call the conservative coven of witches. <laughs> and there are more than you think. Mm -hmm. And yes, Ann Coulter, the, uh, the snake-headed 